Welcome back, everybody. I'm Mel. I'm Ed. And we are Ed and Mel. Hello, Ed Wallace. Yes, Ed Wallace again. <laughs> and today we are continuing on our series of things we wish, wish we, we would have known, known before. before we got a sheepdog. An old English sheepdog. Hey, today's topic is they, they do not shed. Nope. We've read that they do shed. We've read that they don't shed. We have we had two. For the last decade, they do mat. In the summertime, we get Wallace clipped down to about a quarter inch to a half inch. Yep. And then we do not have to worry about anything, any matting, any They're serious for about a month and a half, two months. Because the hair works both ways. It insulates them for yes. hot and cold. But he is very much more enjoyable when his hair is clipped in the hot summer days. Correct. And he does like it more. Right now, he loves his big January coat on. So, when his hair is over three inches, you have to brush on a weekly basis. It's kind of like human hair. You can't let it go yes. without too long or there will be mats yes, and, and knots. Gets tangled. In the like, high traffic zone. What's it supposed to do? It just gets tangled. Like, walls, yep. walls can't take care of it. High traffic zones being behind the ears, armpits, Correct. anywhere where there's friction. Maybe around a collar. Yes, and that's it. If they have a, a collar on constantly, it will mat under their first. So we try Sit not. Down. We try not to always have a collar on Wallace when he's just at home, um, when he's out yeah, and about. Yeah, we let him free roam because we're fenced in and it's yeah. safe. So that's it for today. I hope you learned a little something. Yes, our series of things we wish we would have known before we got an old English sheepdog. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. Woo!